Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video. I just wanted to make a quick update video regarding a few requests that I've been getting over the last one or two weeks regarding having our content or the Hackersploit's content on a decentralized platform, you know, for various reasons regarding censorship and stuff like that. And it's something that's been on my mind, uh, you know, not having or just having one uh, yeah, one platform where your content is, is always uh, going to be there or active is something that we've been trying to, to actually explore, you know, trying to move our content onto other platforms that really don't have any restrictions in in so far as, you know, the type of content you can upload. So as I said, uh, this caused quite a few um, issues last year regarding, you know, the community guidelines and the, the fact that they've been updated to restrict YouTube and the type of content you can upload. And uh, the problem with that is that the, uh, the, the new policies were sort of like a blanket over the entire uh, the entire group of creators or cybersecurity uh, you know content creators where uh, if you had content that was uh, sort of in accordance with the guidelines it was based it was based on someone's opinion and the algorithm could uh, you know at any point just flag your video because you have something in your title or you have something in your comments that really is against the community guidelines so um, to be quite honest it's been quite un unpredictable in regards to the algorithm and how that has started uh, you know shifting the focus or actually it has actually stopped promoting cybersecurity videos and it's not just mine i've been monitoring it over the last four months and uh, one thing has happened is that uh, my videos and a few other creators that i've spoken to are having less of their videos being recommended in the suggested uh, in the suggested video column when you're watching a video so let's say you watch uh, one of my videos and then uh, you know in the suggested tab you get uh, you know some videos that you might be interested in or that might be related to the same video and what you're finding is happening is that you get less and less of these uh, videos from cybersecurity content creators popping up in the um in the suggested feed or the suggested tab um and that is obviously something that the algorithm has played into and there have been almost three algorithm changes since uh november last year and what what, what that has actually caused is that uh, you you actually see it uh, within the uh within the our metrics uh you have uh, various fluctuations regarding your subscriber count um secondly your your the amount of minutes being watched and uh, the the discovery of your content SEO still works so that means uh, videos can be found organically by the title which is great that's something that I really really appreciate YouTube keeping and maintaining but I can definitely see where this is going in in the long term and because of that we have to find alternatives where we can upload videos without restrictions it really isn't about the subscriber base and the fact that we have a huge uh, audience on YouTube uh, and because of that, we should be loyal to YouTube, even though they're making like colossal mistakes with how they're approaching their future and the fact that they're actually now focusing or prioritizing commercial uh, entities or larger, larger channels and companies as opposed to individual creators who actually made the platform what it is today. Now, I don't want this to seem like a video in which uh, I'm actually bashing YouTube because I owe the success of this channel to YouTube and the fact that they allowed us to upload videos onto their platform. But for, for that same reason, they've also made a few decisions that I've not been a fan of in regards to my channel. And that was number one, uh, giving us two community guideline strikes without telling us why. The videos were in complete accordance, you know, with the YouTube community guidelines at the time and after the new changes had been made. Uh, the, these were obviously flagged for whatever reason and because of that we actually had an upload uh, restriction for a certain amount of time which I don't have a problem with but again the fashion in which it happens is what is really worrying in that YouTube can simply pull down a video and you know block you from uploading uh, videos onto, onto your channel without any explanation there isn't any transparency at all and when something like that happens you're always going to be uh, really wondering what their next step is, what their next move is. And as I said, the algorithm keeps changing. I've been working, uh, I've been on YouTube for a long time now, probably seven or eight years, and I know how it works. I know what, uh, for, for a long time, I've known how to actually use the algorithm to your advantage, uh, how to actually, uh, you know, work on great SEO for your videos. And that's not the problem. The problem is that I've seen some very questionable things happening regarding the, again, as I said, 
uh, the content or your content actually showing up in areas where it should uh, that that in areas where it was showing up before and then after all of these restrictions uh, it seems like they want to censor these types of videos because they're, they're sort of fringe videos and fringe content that they do not want associated with their platform which is totally fine it's their platform they give you the ability to upload videos for free one of the uh, that, that was one, one of the things that I was against from the beginning and it was very questionable in their business model because if you do take a look at YouTube and their revenue, uh, they're really, uh, the, the reality is they're hemorrhaging money. They haven't made a profit. Uh, and that's because of their business model. They allow anyone anywhere to upload as many videos as they want without any restrictions regarding to the size, the resolution. You can pretty much upload uh, about five to 10 terabytes of videos for free. You're not gonna be charged for it. You can monetize them. And in the event you don't monetize them because uh, monetization only becomes viable when you have a huge audience, you can see that uh, they're really hemorrhaging money uh, storing videos for, on channels that really don't make sense for, for them as a platform. And they're coming to these realize, uh, this reali realization themselves. And that's why you're seeing uh, various restrictions sort of cutting out uh, some of the content creators, uh, the smaller content creators, which is really sad because they are the ones that keep this platform going on. But again, I don't want to turn this into a political argument or discussion or me bashing YouTube. It's none of that. As I said, I respect YouTube as a platform for what it's done for countless content creators. It's given them a uh, you know platform to speak, to share ideas, to, to educate. Uh, YouTube has been extremely helpful to students all around the world, which was something that I'm definitely, I, something that I definitely appreciate and I respect them for that. But again, uh, their future seems to be uh, really in, in in the dark regarding how they're going to handle uh, you know fringe content and what they consider to be content that is not suitable for the platform. I think they need to define that much more clearly and uh, until that happens I'm going to find various alternatives where I can actually upload all my videos uh, without any restrictions and you know that can only be done on a decentralized platform and that's why we chose LBRY so I know I kind of went overboard there but again if I just search for hack exploit here we've actually copied um, copied all our videos that are currently on YouTube onto LBRY so you can find all our latest videos and it's very similar to YouTube in that you can as you can easily just click on the play button and watch a video here you can share the video yeah you can follow uh, you can also download the video if you want uh, you can also uh, if you click on this flag right over here you can see that yeah, there is uh, the ability for you to actually report uh, infringing content if if you do find that your content is being stolen uh, you can actually report it so that's that that's the, the 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 essentials that you actually really need as a content creator and of course you have comments which is uh, which is really really is great so uh, content is con uh, completely decentralized, which means the videos cannot be taken down because it's on a blockchain. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to say you can find my videos on LBRY now uh, and they'll, they'll always be on this platform as so far as it's alive because I know many of the YouTube competitors that we've seen right now have, uh, or over the last one or two years have actually been, um, They've actually failed for various uh, for various reasons, and I'm I'm really optimistic about LBRY. I've been using it for a few weeks to watch, uh, you know, content on it, and so far I feel it's a great alternative. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I know this was uh, more of a rant than uh, than me giving you guys an update, but you can find the link to our to our new channel on LBRY. Uh, I'll post it in the description section. This doesn't mean that we're going to stop uploading on YouTube. All I'm saying is that. If you do find any of our videos getting pulled down, you can be sure to find them on LBRY without any issue. So uh, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about. Uh, we, have, uh, we are working on a lot of stuff in the background uh, regarding our forum and our main site, which will, which will, all, will now be on hackexploit.org. We have a lot of exciting stuff we want to share with you guys there regarding education and, uh, uh, and, and sort of cybersecurity in, in, that, uh, in that sector. But uh, that's something that we'll discuss later when it's ready. So do let me know what you guys think and uh, that's going to be it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next video.